Hello, welcome to Qatar Pavilion. We are now having the tour inside the Qatar Pavilion and we are the host for the next event, the World Cup. Let's see what we have here. So it's a, it's a, it looks like a little bit like a ship or a wave or yes. what, what is the architecture here? The pavilion actually owns the shape of the boat and we get inspired the idea from the location of Qatar. As Qatar has surrounded by the sea from the three side, that's what we will see here on the map. Also, we refer to the desert area with the balm tree. You can, as you see here, this is the balm tree that we refer to. And the whole pavilion, it's on the shape of the boat. We choose the white color to see uh, the peace and safety. So here's the entrance. First, we start with our uh, Amir and the father, Amir Sheikh Hamad bin Khalifa. And the one is ruling right now, his son, Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad bin Khalifa. And the pavilion is divided into two sections. The first one has six slide screen. Each one is talking about a part of the company, or the country, sorry. The first, uh, we go to the map to see the location and how it's affected on our trading. As you see here, that Qatar has surrounded by the sea from the three side. Doha is the city or the capital of uh, Qatar. The main airport is Hamad uh, Airport. Hamad Airport, uh, Hamad International Airport has got uh, the first one uh, who used the safety and uh, security during Corona pandemic. Uh, actually, it's a very, very busy airport with connecting the whole world through Doha to get a stopover from Europe to Asia, Europe to Africa, all these connections, right? Yes. And the whole Middle East also. Yes, exactly. As you see here, the UAE is here, 45 minutes away from Doha, and Saudi Arabia is near here, Bahrain is here. All right. And we show the most famous uh, historical uh, places, the galleries and also the fish traps and the marine activities in Qatar. And the most important thing and that you, we all uh, looking for are the stadium for the World Cup. We have eight stadiums, four of them are in Doha, we have two in Al-Wakr and two in Khur, but all of them are on the same line. Right. So it will be very, very easy for people to get from one stadium yeah, to the other. Exactly. You can stay. attend more than one match in the same time or nearly in the same time. In the first screen that we have, we explain why we make the, the pavilion on this shape. We got inspired the idea from our uh, flag, the sword to show the strength and power, the, the boat uh, to refer because the Qatar has surrounded by the sea from the three side, as their main trading is the past, in the past was fishing and searching for pearl, and also the balm tree to refer to the desert. You can see here the future city, it's called Lucille, one of our uh, stadium, and it will be in uh, the future city, which is Lucille. It will be the closing and the opening uh, stadium. This is Al Zubara Fort, is one of the heritage uh, spot in Qatar. This is the most historical places. Let's see the next screen. We are talking here about the mobility, how we start and when we are now. We start from the sea. They were using the boat to move from country to another. So this is a, like an astronaut. They were guiding them by the star where the way is. Now we reach the sky by having the airplanes. So Qatar has one of the best airlines uh, all over the world, Qatar Airways. It's connecting more than uh, 150 countries and it has more than 250 aircraft. Uh, I've been to Atek Qatar Airways many, many times and it's amazing price. Yes. Uh, very affordable tickets for the economy seats. Exactly. I never tried the first class, but I guess it's a luxury for them. It is. Up there. Uh, and then uh, connecting all these countries, that's really yes, cool. Yes, it is easy to move all around the world using the Qatar Airways. In the third screen, we are talking about education and communication. Uh, the Arabic language is starting by drawing some letters and then get improved till we reach the space studies. 
Qatar has its own education foundation that has more than 15 universities from all over the world and all of them are famous universities like Northern and Texas University, uh, also uh, Carinji, Georgetown and many universities with many specialization that beside the national universities also Qatar has its own satellite and it has a specific company that is responsible for satellite management. There's also the Al Jazeera. Sorry? Al Jazeera TV station also. Yeah. All right, no problem yeah. over this. Yeah. In this screen, we're talking about innovation and uh, technology. We refer to the, the uh, medicine with uh, Sadra tree. It's a very famous tree in Qatar. And actually, uh, sometimes they're using and healing medicine and coloring uh, drawing. It's called henna. And we put it here to refer as the roots of the Qatarian. As they start from the very hard environment, now they have a lot of achievements. Also, we are talking about the improvement that happened in the laboratory and hospitality in Qatar. Qatar has its own uh, Qatar uh, oasis for technology and uh, hospitality. They invented uh, a new device during Corona pandemic. It's a very small one using in freezing and it was very easy to, uh, to get it with you or travel with it. So this is one of the achievements that they have during Corona pandemic. Let's go to the second screen. In this one, we are talking about arts and connecting minds. You can see here one of the two famous museums in Qatar. This one is the National Museum. It's on the shape of the desert rose. Get designed with a French designer. The second one is uh, Islamic Museum. What's uh, important to mention here that in the Islamic Museum we have some pieces that mix it between the old Islamic design and the modern designs. You can see that on the real picture here. As we mentioned some of the other heritage and historical uh, places in Qatar. This is the, firm, the very famous statue that we have in Qatar Airport. It's the big teddy bear that they won in a very a big competition. <laughs> why, why is there a teddy bear in the airport? Ah, maybe it's the child lose it. Yes. That's the idea. You forget it in the airport and there it is. No, no, no. There was a competition that Qatar has participated in it. And uh, after the competition ended, uh, the, the, the country will pay uh, much or donate more than another country will win the steady bear so Qatar won the steady bear and the last screen here we are talking about sustainability how Qatar uh, improve and save its natural environment to give it to the next generation and to keep it as it is however they have improved their uh, underwater reserves and also the wildlife they have mangrove and also they have uh, a big number of whale underwaters and we have to mention that they start to using the solar power projects for example we can see here the World Cup Stadium here we are <laughs> these are the eight main stadiums that we get designed for FIFA 2022 we have eight stadiums uh, we're using uh, sustainable material on one of the stadium, a friendly environment material, and one of the stadium is a uh, container stadium. That's because after the match will be separated into uh, three small stadiums to, to be donated to the poor countries. Um, and how, many, how many of the stadiums are being donated? Three one. will be the end. One big stadium will be separated into three small stadiums to donate to the poor countries. These are the concepts that we made the stadium on to be a friendly environment stadium. However, all the stadiums are open from the top 
but all of them are ACs because we are using a solar power to uh, work this stadium. Nice. So actually, in theory, they could be used all year. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, the World Cup is going to be in November, right? This one will be the opening uh, and closing stadium. It's called Lucille. Do you have a Do you have a ticket? A ticket, of course. Yeah, for the for the <laughs> yes, opening. Yes, of course. Yeah. All right. Also, don't oh. forget that Qatar has the Arabic Cup starting on November 30 till December 18th. Also, will be in Qatar. Nice. So they're actually going to test all the stadiums. They're ready. Yes. Ah, they are. <laughs> Let's see the second gallery. It's a film screening about Qatar. Here we are referring to Expo for Agriculture. Qatar has a plan to start uh, making Expo for Agriculture 2023. As you see here that we are talking about sustainable and the green world, so that's why we prepare for this event. So everything here on all the screens is about this expo for 2023. Yes. 2023, yes. We World invited all agriculture. the countries that has plan for the agriculture and sustainability and sustainable uh, projects. Nice. Um, so, are there Qatari designers, graphic designers who did this work, or? You, uh, you partner with some architects from different countries and stuff like that? Yes, sure. Nice. All right, and uh, nice big benches around here to sit and uh, relax and watch the show. How long is the show? The next show will be about the Arab Cup that we have next month. All right, it would be exciting to watch the Arab Cup in the stadiums. Yes. It's pretty much like a, a test one year before the World Cup. Yes, sure. But all the stadiums are ready. Oh, that's cool. All right, so here you can see the uh, wildlife in Qatar, the underwater reserves that we have. This is one of the wheels that uh, have it in our natural reserve. There's one thing that's uh, really cool uh, with Qatar Airways is just the click of a stopover and then people can stay in in Doha, yes. you can stay in Qatar for a few days, very affordable, very nice hotel, like $40, $50, and you get four or five star hotel. I was trying that just before the COVID. Exactly. And uh, I'm hoping it will continue during the World Cup. <laughs> yes, well, there will. There will be a lot of capacity for hotel rooms and everything yes. is built. They are, yes, they are ready for that. And Airbnbs. And here in the corner, you have uh, like a uh, some shows once in a while some people come and play here, here. we have uh, sometimes we make a live show for the uh, traditional music in Qatar and also the the songs and sometimes we invited bands to have the national dance for Qatar all right and and then uh, what goes on over there is the exit yes the last stage is the exit here before you exit, you can get the stamp on your passport. <laughs> and we thank all the people who come to Qatar Bavilia. With many languages. <laughs> all right. Thanks a lot. Thank you.